I use transit all the time, and uh, I just leave the car at home most of the time. Gas prices have now reached over $2 a litre across Metro Vancouver. At the same time, car-free days like this one in Surrey are becoming more common. But can car-free living be practical in a suburb? Do you think you'd be able to live car-free living in Surrey? Hell yeah. No, I rely on my mom's car way too much. It's faster to get around. I think I could definitely partially live car-free. If I lived on the main strips or near, like right off of the main strips, it would be walkable. Saturday's car-free day was put together to show the people in Surrey cars are not always needed. As we grow as a community, we're getting more and more dense um, and densely populated, and we need people just to start looking at alternate uh, forms of transportation for sustainability and just our climate action. But for some here, living car free would be too much of a challenge. Because they're so tiny, so I can't really walk that far. It might be a little bit too time consuming to walk to the grocery store and carry groceries like a 20 minute walk from my house. Surrey, I think, presents a kind of larger challenge. I think it presents a certainly a much larger area. You got to remember the, 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 the physical area of the city of Surrey is three times that of the city of Vancouver. Andy Yang, the director director of the city planning program at Simon Fraser University says that people moving to a suburb for cheaper housing may have to factor in higher transportation costs. With transportation in is the second highest Canadian household expenditure only after mortgages and, and, and rents. So I think that when we see uh, prices uh, come up or gas prices particularly uh, reach a certain point, um, this is realization of just really how much that cost of transportation is taking a chomp. If you lived in a place, let's say like in downtown Vancouver, do you think that would be more easier to be car free? Yes, because there's so much entertainment and action within a, a block or two. But for some urbanites, it doesn't matter where they live. I work from home, so I don't have like to, like, you know, to go outside. I think you might see changing behaviors through which uh, change really uh, this observation of what happens between housing costs and transportation costs. How often does a bus come? Uh, probably 30 minutes or so, but I don't really mind. Translink at the same time will need to provide more more buses and more SkyTrain cars to meet that demand as well. Translink tells City News the construction of the new SkyTrain line from Surrey to Langley will open in 2028. In Surrey, Angela Bauer, City News.